I'm Darren, and this is Big Daddy Scripts. And we're going to go through the Character Manager Pro. There's been a free version of the Character Manager out there for a long time. Um, and this is what's come out of that. This is a much better version of it. Uh, does more things. Slicker. Uh, the free one is still there, and it's still free, but it's deprecated now. It'll never get updated again. It's end of life for it, so it'll be going away pretty soon. Uh, this, I will say right off the bat, is not a tool that is ever meant to replace any of the character selectors or editors for any framework that exists. So what I'm saying is, Cubicore, ESX, uh, Andes, Nate Nats, any of those that have character selectors, this will not replace it. It doesn't now, and it never will. Um, it's not built for that. What this is built for is you to create characters and save them and have them at your fingertips to to use and you might say well vmenu does that yeah kind of um, it does and you can use vmenu if you want to i much prefer this one um it uses a database so if that scares you don't buy it because you have to have a mysql database attached to this and you'll have to run the SQL file to create the table. There's one table that it creates to save the characters. So your characters are saved on the server and not on your client. Uh, so that means you could play on, if you say you get a brand new gaming machine and you rebuild it, all your characters are still sitting there on the server. They don't go anywhere. But if you go to play on a different server, they're not going to be on that different server because they're on the server where you saved them. Uh, I do plan an import-export tool sometime in the future to where if you're going to leave one server and go to another one, you could take your characters with you as long as they have my character manager on there. Uh, let's see. Right now, the CAD integration is not finished. I am working on a Sonoran and Snaily CAD integration. Uh, which would mean when you create a character in the character manager, it will save it to the CAD. And you can have multiple characters if you wanted to have different clothes and whatnot, uh, say that, that are linked to the character that is saved in the CAD. So any one character in the CAD can have multiple characters in the character manager. That is planned for the future. It's partially done, it's just not complete yet. But it will be done eventually. All right, so let's just get started and start going through here. Oops, sorry, I hit my joystick. All right, so the command that it's always been is manage me, um, which is just you're managing yourself, your own characters. And that puts you into what's called a routing bucket. In other words, it pulls you out of the world and puts you in your own world, so you'll never run into anybody else while you're doing this. Um, we have changed the location to a better location with better lighting that doesn't freak out. On the left is your list of characters that you've saved, and these are all of my local devs, so they're a bunch of test things. On the right are the different options that you have for editing and creating and whatnot. I will show you eventually how to um, clone your V menu characters and bring them into here and save them so they'll be here. So all you people that say, well, I have all my characters saved in V menu. Well, super easy to bring them over here. And I will show you how that's done shortly. Uh, any of these that you click on, and I don't, I don't know, well, I know what this one is. It'll walk off and walk back on as a new character. You can disable the walking so it just snaps to the next character, um, like magic, if you don't want to wait for him to walk off and on. I kind of like the walk off thing. It's kind of fun. 
any of these that you click, they'll walk off and walk back on is the new one. And like I said, these are all a bunch of tests. All right, so if we're going to create a new one, it'll bring up a form for you to say some new guy. And it'll put you in the default generic MP ped. And you can change that under pet. You can change it to any of the other previously saved peds like this check. But you'll notice you get very little options and most of these won't even work. Like she's not going to have a mask. Um, there's probably some clothes that you can change on her. But it's, yeah, it's like you're going to get, she's got two jackets and a skirt and pants. So you get very little out of the regular peds because that's how it's built in the game. Um, let's see. So if we go with the generic guy here, uh, this editor that you see right here is uh, built by a guy named Snake Wiz. I think that's the name he goes by. It's called 5M Appearance. Uh, I did not build this. This is not something that I built. Um, we have modified it and made it custom to this character manager. But this was built by somebody else, and I like it. That's why I've never bothered to build my own or anything, because this one's really cool. Um, you've got cameras that you can go between face, torso, feet, or back out again. You can take off parts of your clothes or put them back on if you want to see, you know, your chest to do the chest hair or tattoos or something like that this he'll turn around so you can see the back um, very handy so you can see the clipping when it goes through all the stuff this takes the camera just a quarter turn and back and you can go the other way as well so you can get views from from everywhere there's your save and your cancel all right uh, one of the things that we added was walk style so what you can do is you can save a walk style to this character and it should usually persist as long as you are this character, unless you have something else that modifies walk styles, uh, which is popular, uh, popular to do. It happens all the time. Uh, inheritance has to do with, you know, your facial features uh, where you can choose the fathers and the mothers. and get different face setups. And the same thing with the, the skin where you can mix your genetics and come up with <laughs> different skin colors. Uh, face features, all the usual stuff. You can mess with the nose and that's where these cameras come in handy. Let's say we're gonna go up here and we're gonna say the nose width. You can just use the sliders to change all those things. Now you can't really see this slider do much because it's how far the nose sticks out. So that's when these come in really handy if you wanted to mess with how far the nose sticks out. Uh, same thing with the eyebrows, with the depth, them going in and out, um, and the height going up and down. And you can't really see any eyebrows yet because they're not turned on, they're invisible. So these are all the usual. You've seen all these before. So with your appearance, you got the hairstyles. Change the color of it. You can do highlights. You can throw some blemishes on there. It's all the stuff you've seen before. So you want a beard. You want to have a pink beard. No, oh, I don't like the pink. And your beard styles. And there's where you can turn on your 
your opacity of your eyebrows. Yeah, look at that eyebrows. Just really messy enough. Add aging, all the different agings. It's just your standard, all your options are here that you've seen before in other editors. Uh, these just have sliders and easy ways to pick and edit it, which I really enjoy. Clothes, uh, pretty much the same as always. You can add your masks or the hands have to be, this is how, and people always ask, how do you keep it from clipping through the clothes? Well, you set, you set the hands to where they don't clip. Uh, unfortunately, it's just the way it is with this game. And your pants and bags and parachutes, your shoes, scarves and chains, which are a bunch of different things. And, you know, the, your custom, if you have custom EUP and custom clothes thrown in there, these numbers will all be different. And as far as will these match vMenu, probably not, because vMenu uses numbers that are weird, so it'll be one off, maybe two. just depends on what you do. Um, so yeah, I think you have to set the jacket to like, no. I can't remember which one it is. Actually, I think the shirt is like 14, maybe invisible, no, 15. And that's like, again, that'll be different depending on your your server. I don't know, how do you get, oh, there you go. So he's not clipping, <laughs> this dude's ugly. Uh, and you got your props, which you can add hat or whatever. Um, glasses, watches, bracelets. Tattoos, these are a little wonky, um, how they work. It's hard to preview them. Um, and if you know the tattoos, then, you know, that works out all right. Let's see, left arm, tribal flower. Oh, why'd that show up on his face? I must have hit the button by accident. So you basically just apply it and delete it. Uh, they're probably under his pants. But anyway, you've seen all of this work before on other editors. So then you hit save. He'll say, you sure? You say, yep. And it'll come back to the menu. And so here's your guy. And he's here under some new guy. because that's what we named him. And if you want to edit him, you click edit, it brings back up the menu, you can change it and save him. Uh, if you want to rename him from some new guy, then you can. I don't know what I'm gonna name him, I'm just gonna leave him what he is. Uh, if you want to delete him, let's see, what have I got? I've got test, test. Yeah, I like him. Let's do this one. Oh, okay, I know what this is. So if I hit delete, it says, are you sure you want to? If I say yes, he's going to get upset and walk off and be deleted. He's now not in the menu anymore. And it's the same with any of these guys. They don't like it when you delete them. Okay, so let me show you the V menu part of it. Oh, the speedometer's freaking out. You guys know DevMate? Built by Wittigal and The Law. Very nice tool. 
So like the speedometer, I can hit stop right there. And seven seconds later, it'll stop. Boom. Very handy tool. All right, so if I come into V menu and I say saved pets. So I have all these pets that I had saved in V menu before. So, so let's see if any of these are custom because a bunch of them are not. Um, all right, this guy. Uh, we just saw him a second ago. If I spawn him in, oh, for once he doesn't have green hair, which is a trademark of the V menu character spawner. Um, so this guy came out of V menu. If I just go straight into the manage me and I hit clone, it's going to ask for a name. And I don't remember what this guy's name was. Uh, I think it was Riggs Long Coat or something like that. It just brings up the editor. You don't have to do a thing. Just hit save. And once you hit save, now Riggs Long Coat is in here. And that's it. That's how you bring your V menu guys out. Now I don't think if you if you tried to save him as a V menu character, I don't think it works very well because their numbers are jacked up. Um but here's how you clone. It's that easy. If you have the Big Daddy chat, whenever you choose one of these guys, it will use this name in the chat as the character name if, you, if that's turned on in your chat. So it is integrated with the chat to use the names that are in here. And whenever the CAD is integrated, there'll actually be a selector. Like if I go to create this guy, I can associate him with a CAD character. Or if I create a new one, I can tell it, go create the CAD character that matches this one. So whenever you choose this guy, it'll also choose the CAD character as your current character. It doesn't do that yet, but it will. And that was that it that is a good uh, observation is if he does spawn from V menu with green hair, whenever you bring it into this editor, it'll fix the hair and be back to the color that it's supposed to be. I don't know why V menu does that. I've never understood <laughs> what issue it was, but uh, this editor fixes it whenever you bring him in there. So that's basically it. And because I hit cancel, I went back to the character I was before instead of changing to the new one. There's like 10 different animations he does when you delete him. Um, I think that's all the functionality. I mean, it's super handy to manage your characters and super easy to use. And I just, I like the interface of this character editor better than the other one. Thanks for watching. BigDaddyScripts.com